Hi and welcome to part two of this mini series on side manipulation in Armour 3. So this tutorial is going to be going over how we can change sides of units and players in Armour 3. So to get started, the first thing we need to know is that there's no kind of straightforward easy way of um, making a player or AI just change sides individually. We have to kind of do a little bit of a workaround, but it's not too much, okay? So I'm going to bring up my script that i done earlier. Here's one I made earlier. So what this is essentially doing so we're just gonna look at this one for now we're using the command join silent right and what this does is it essentially just joins <clears throat> a player or an ai or whatever unit you're currently passing through that function it will join them to the groups that you tell it to so for example we've got the player which is uh smbgs in this instance is joining and then you are creating a new east group okay so i'll do another video on creating groups in the future if you want that but for now what you need to know <clears throat> in this very basic part is we're just creating a new group and it's on the east side so this could be create group west it could be civ it could be indy4 whatever for this example though i'm just going to do east just because i'm already west as you can see because i'm blue four so if we then did this and we put it on our player You'll see that I've changed to op4 and then if we've done it again but we made the group west you see I've turned back to blue4 now obviously you can put this in any scripts you want you don't have to do it for Zeus um, if you know how to use um, remote execution if not I'm going to be doing a video on that soon you can also use exec VM if you know how to use that if not I'll do a video on that in the future as well um, I'd recommend using remote exec just because it's better it's got more um, tools around it but um, essentially you can just put this in a script which you can get off of my github and you can just call the script with the parameters of whatever you want we could obviously put in multiple things here so we could put um, player and underscore this so what this is going to do um, is it will change let's just get another unit in so let's say we've got two blue four units right so if we put this code in here it's going to take the player which is actually me over here, it's not this guy, because he's an AI, he's not a player. It's going to take the player, and it's going to take this, which is the guy that we've currently selected. It will join them both to a new East group, okay? So if we run this, you'll see that, look, we're now both op4, and he's joined my group, and he'll run towards me because he's now on my side. So let's just get a civilian so that the guys don't shoot at him, and I'm just going to get him and join him to me. Now, if I did... On this guy it did the same thing and now I'm gonna do West for example we're now both blue four as you can see I had to delete him so that they don't engage him um, and it's really that simple how we can do that okay so now we're gonna have a look at a little bit more of a complex uh, situation or scenario whatever you want to call it but it's really simple when you know how it works if you watch the part one of this mini series you'll probably have a little bit of an understanding of how for each works in armor because we used it in the previous example of getting the side and name of players within a group so we're going to use the exact same structure all we're going to do now is we're going to create a group so I've just got a private that's a variable name I've just called it underscore group for this example um, and then I've just assigned to that variable create group east so this is just creating a new group on the east side just like we did up here um, and I've just put it and stored it inside the variable of underscore group now we're doing a for each loop here so for each of the units within the group of this so wherever we run it it will get all of the units within the group that that person is in so for example if we run that script on this guy here it's going to get four different units because he's got four people in his team um, if we go back here for each of those units underscore x is just the magic variable that stores um, each of the units that you're iterating through we're going to join silent to the group okay that we created earlier now you can do this like we did earlier you can create the group but the problem with that is it's going to create the group every time so if we put on these guys let me just do it west so they actually change side so if i've done it on this person over here what will happen is they'll turn to west but they'll all go to their own individual group as you can see here so now if we go back to the script instead of doing this i'm gonna put the variable of underscore group so this group is only being created once and then it's being stored so we can put all of these units in the one group that's on the east side okay so if i copy this put it in this guy you see that they all turn to op4 and they all remain within the same group and it's really handy because you can just use this pretty much everywhere where you want to change sides and it's essentially the same code that Zeus Enhance use or whatever mod I'm using that changes sides so if I did um, if I look for group side here it uses the exact same kind of ideology uh, not ideology sorry same kind of setup 
So you'll see that it does that. And then if we change an individual unit to civilian, you see he changes group, he leaves their group. So that's the exact same code as that. So if you ever want to know how to do that kind of functionality in your own scripts, you now know. Again, you can find all this on my GitHub where I have um, some examples and you can also use it in your own missions. What I'm doing over the series of tutorials that I'm planning to do um, at the moment is I'm going to essentially make it so that you can download these scripts and you can run them in your mission without having to actually edit anything or have lots of knowledge on the situation. Obviously, being able to do it yourself is just 100% better anyway. But yeah, I hope you found this helpful. In the next tutorial, we are going to be looking at change inside relations and how we can essentially uh, manipulate it so that Blue 4 and India are against each other or maybe Blue 4 and Red 4 are friendly with each other and things like that. So I'll see you in the next one.